Hey YouTube, it's Katrina, and I'm about to get to a book review of The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Jester. I don't believe that I've ever reviewed this book before. My schedule will get back to normal next week, but I did want to do a book review of this book because I just watched the movie, which was on YouTube. I don't think it's supposed to be on YouTube, but I did just watch it not too long ago. First, I'm going to read to you a letter. A real letter. Dear Cat and Tracy. Not really. I regret to inform you that the Department of Psychology could not admit you into its doctoral program in clinical psychology. We have a limited number of teaching assistantships to support students. This year we had over 190 applications, which meant we unfortunately had to turn away many well-qualified applicants. Again. I am sorry to inform you of the department's decision regarding your application to our doctoral program in clinical psychology. We appreciate your interest in the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee and wish you the best in your academic career. Uh, so I'm not going to UWM, definitely. And uh, I have mentioned other schools that I have been officially rejected from in previous video, but I didn't read the letters, and I'm thinking about doing a montage of them. So leave a comment below letting me know if you'd be interested in hearing my uh, montage of rejections. So it's but it's especially fun when there's grammatical errors in the uh, in the letters and stuff. Anyways, the Phantom Twelve Booth by Norton Jester. I was watching this because and I just read it too again because I was thinking about stuff from my childhood I just finished watching the first season of Rugrats because I caved and got Netflix and it's amazing I'm just gonna read to you the back of this um, oh by the way I don't think I connected my last two thoughts very cohesively Rugrats and Nickelodeon and reading these things were like my childhood so I'm just sharing <laughs> these things with you. A journey to the lands beyond. For Milo, everything's a bore. When a toll booth mysteriously appears in his room, he drives through only because he's got nothing better to do. But on the other side, things seem different. Milo visits the land... <laughs> Milo visits the island of conclusions. You get there by jumping. Learns about time from a ticking watchdog named Talk, and even embarks on a quest to rescue Rhyme and Reason were princesses. Somewhere along the way, Milo realizes something astonishing. Life is far from dull. In fact, it's exciting beyond his wildest dreams. This is a map that Milo gets that he can choose where he'd like to go. And the main, I guess, plot of the book is that this little boy gets to this place because he was bored and He's just traveling around and he stumbles upon Digitopolis and Dictionopolis, which is, which are ruled by two separate kings who are brothers, and they fight. And the whole land is in disarray because Rhyme and Reason, two princesses who keep the kingdoms in peace and harmony, have been captured and put into the castle in the air, which is not on this map because there's an arrow pointing up to the castle in the air. So. Mila goes to rescue them so that the kings of Digitopolis and Dictionopolis <coughs> can reconcile their differences because one thinks that numbers are better than words and one thinks that words are better than numbers. It's a really interesting story and it's very, it's just so entertaining. And the movie is actually, they actually did a great job on the movie. So if you want to watch it, it's on YouTube. I don't think it's supposed to be on YouTube. Um, but, yeah, that is my video for you guys today. Have you guys ever read this book? Watch the movie? It stars the little boy who was in The Monsters, if anyone remembers that show. Oh my gosh. Nick at Night. Yes, Nickelodeon is the best. Okay, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Let me know again if you would like a montage of rejections, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.